welcome back to my channel today i have a special treat for you and that is a five tips on friday a lot of requests to do this and to bring it back and you was like today is the day bringing it back <laughs> guys enjoy this five tips on friday i do not know which number this is it might be the 108th or something but this is going to be travel edition so some tips and tricks if you're going to be traveling for the holidays coming up i want to show you guys my favorite tips so i hope you guys enjoyed this tipful video and let's just get right into it <laughs> the first tip is something that actually helped me recently when i was traveling i love buying things when i'm on vacation i mean who doesn't and i had so many things that i bought so many extra clothes and i didn't know what to do. i was gonna get them back until i thought hey let me pack differently I have folding my clothes traditionally like this I decided to roll them, rolled my clothes like so, and boom, it's instantly thinner, instantly fit more. I was able to get everything home just by folding my clothes like this. It's so helpful to get so many more clothes home just by doing this one simple thing. I know a lot of you guys might be traveling for the holidays and um, I feel like when traveling, you try to fit everything in one bag, at least I tried to. But my least favorite thing is when I bring my shoes, I bring them out of my suitcase, they're always so crushed and they're bent and it gives me anxiety knowing that. The next tip is to help just that. If you're traveling with sneakers or, or even sandals, because I feel like sandals can get crushed too, um, instead of just, you know, packing your socks in the top of your suitcase, take your socks and roll them up and put them inside your shoe. This helps them not get deformed or like bent and a extra additive. Now you know where your socks are and you don't have to worry about that extra room that you're wasting at the tip top of your suitcase of putting your socks in there. You have a pair of socks ready to go inside your shoes and you don't have to worry about them getting crushed. It's perfect. It's like a double tip. <laughs> Who knew one simple thing could be so effective? Okay, so the next tip is, is if you're traveling and you like bringing food with you on the airplane or if you have special dietary needs and you need to bring like a certain type of food and your worry is, how am I going to keep this cold? But worry no more with this next tip. If you want to bring your food on the plane, you have to throw away any ice packs that you normally do because the security people are freaking saying, no, you can't bring this, you can't bring this. And now you're like, how is my food going to stay cold? Well, fear no more. Tip, all you have to do is get a plastic bag, a plastic sandwich bag like this, or if you want a bigger one like this, put it in your carry-on bag, like in the side pocket, easy access you go through security find a restaurant or even like a starbucks or a coffee shop recently we went to arizona my sister and i and we just saw like a pete's coffee shop just literally go up to the coffee shop grab the baggie go over to the front people you could buy something you could get a coffee either way um and say hey can you fill my baggie up with ice a lifesaver like I'm telling you when you're trying to bring like a sandwich if you're trying to bring just cheese or anything simple or even if you're a new mom and you milk um this is perfect for that because you literally just say hey can you fill my baggie up with ice they'll fill it up with ice and you put this in your cooler boom your food is cold when I was on the plane that ice started melting if you're taking a long flight just ask the flight attendant if you have a different bag so that's what I'm saying bring a few um you can just ask the flight attendant to fill the baggie up with ice so you can like switch it out in between flights um and literally they'll give you ice the lady gave us so much i should you need more the flight attendant was so sweet best tips if you're trying to travel with food or keep food cold now you don't have to worry about it with this simple tip <laughs> all right so the next tip is something i personally do so as a health coach nutritionist personal trainer i always tell my clients it is so important to stretch after and before working out but it 
also is important to stretch when you're traveling. And I'm always stretching when I'm on the plane or even if I'm in long car rides, it is so effective and it helps you not feel as jet lagged the next day. Like I'm telling you, it helps so much. So today I'm sharing with four different helpful stretches that are actually my personal favorite. The first one that is my favorite is ankle circles. So for these, all you do is you take your ankle and you turn like you can go like alternate left and right and you turn it around one goes counterclockwise the other one goes clockwise and just alternate and circle your ankles Honestly, the simple thing helps like so much second stretch i like is knee lifts and you just literally bring your knee up to your chest flex your thigh muscle and you could also my personal favorite is twisting my ankle while doing this because it's just like the ultimate stretch through your hamstring, through your ankle. So my third favorite stretch is a forward flex. All you do is you lean forward and you just have your hands, you place your hands down your legs and stretch them as far as you can down your ankles. This stretches out your back, stretches out your hamstrings, and you really feel better after doing this. It also helps your neck. The last and final stretch that I love is just a leg extension. This is literally just where you're lifting your leg up and you're extending your leg for like 10 seconds um if you have enough room to be able to lift your legs up in front of the other person it's great it helps with jet lag and makes you feel better for the next day so i hope you guys try those stretches out and that tip helps you fifth and last tip is one that i love and it's one of my personal favorites because it's something less you have to bring and it makes something you have multi-purpose. I'm going to turn a simple sweat jacket into a neck pillow. I hate having to travel with my neck pillow, but I love having it when I'm on the plane. Now, I know I always travel with a sweatshirt, so I'm not going to have to worry about bringing the neck pillow, but I'll have the comfort of having one. Take your sweatshirt, you turn it inside out, zip it up. Do is you take one of the arms and you bring it back on the back and then you bring one of the arms on the front like so and then you just roll up from the bottom pull the hood out and place it over your head hood up and you have a neck pillow so simple and then an extra added hood i love putting my hood up when flying because i covered my eyes with this you have a neck pillow and you don't have to worry about packing one and you can just use your sweat jacket those are all my tips and that concludes this new weeks of five tips on friday i've enjoyed this tipful video and i really miss you guys and if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up comment down below and if you guys enjoyed it enough maybe this will become a weekly thing again Yay. <laughs> Let me know your favorite tip in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing amazing. Love you so much.